All right, your boy Big Red here. And this is going to be the last time that I do a regular restaurant under the name of Big Red's Restaurant Review. So to get your uh, choice in for names, since I'm letting you guys name it, this is the last one. Go ahead and leave me a suggestion down in the comment box. So far, I got a couple good ones that I've been eyeing up, but like I said, I'm running it for three three videos. I'm going to do this video, and then I'm going to sit on it for a week, and then I'll announce the winner of whoever picked the best name for Big Red's restaurant review. And uh, I will send whoever is the winner a Big Red's Food Army t-shirt free of charge. Um, where we're at today, we're at this place I just found out about. It's called Bubba T's Cajun Kitchen. Supposedly, they've been around for 10 years. Uh, and this is their new location. And I just joined a, a, a foodie group on Facebook to get some recommendations for some different places that I hadn't tried yet. And this is one of them. And being from New Orleans, you know I'm going to put them through through their paces with this Cajun food here. And I'll let you know exactly how good this Cajun food is. So, I'll see you inside. So there's the sign. It's in a little strip center. All right, let's get inside. Okay, so here's the... Here's the... Uh, little menu that they got outside where you could see their menu and uh, so that's what I had right there the boudin balls I had a regular so it was like five boudin balls for five bucks the onion rings came with this here po' boy and they put it as french bread and really not french bread but uh, let me show you their whole menu here do salads and tacos. Tacos isn't really a New Orleanian thing. They do seafood platters. I mean, like I said, it wasn't bad. It was just more of a let down with the amount of shrimp. And then this is what I had, the little side sandwich. I had the Cajun burrito. And you can pick between your your fish, shrimp, or chicken. And uh, I got the grilled catfish. So, there you have it. Alright, it's time to go home and edit this. And, like I said, I'm going to come back and try a few other things and let y'all know. Maybe do another thing. I want to try their, their etouffee and their jambalaya. So, but, there you have it. All right, so I made my order. You order up back there at the counter. You pay for your food, and then you sit down. They give you a little number. Here I am. I'm number 53, and uh, they bring you your food when it's ready. Uh, so I ordered a... I ordered a... Um, what do you call it? I ordered a fried shrimp po' boy, and it come with a side. So I got some onion rings, so check out their onion rings. And I ordered... They got a... Cajun burrito, which it looks like they mix Tex-Mex with Cajun food. The guy said it's got red beans and rice in it, and you pick your protein. I picked the grilled, uh, I picked grilled, um, what do you call it, catfish. So I'm going to have a grilled catfish with red beans and rice burrito. This should be interesting. But they have, uh, I noticed they had etouffee, jambalaya, gumbo. It's hot as hell outside, so I didn't want nothing, but I mean... If, the, if they do all right with this, uh, if they do okay with this uh, po' boy, I'll order some more food, try out some more stuff. But, again, don't forget, this is the last video I'm doing under Big Red's Restaurant Review. You, the viewer, get to pick my name. And if I choose your name for this uh, series that I'm doing, I'll send you a t-shirt free of charge. So, with that being said... I'm just going to wait until my food gets here, then I'll turn you guys back on. All right, so we got our appetizer. We got some boudin balls and some homemade in-house 
uh, rum alive sauce. So we're gonna try them with and without. Let me push up that just a hair. We're gonna try one boudin ball. It's not bad. It's got a little spice to it. diaper off and if I had to guess it's about a six inch po' boy onion rings are very lightly battered that little pepper in the batter good This isn't traditional. So this isn't traditional French bread. This is some other kind of bread and they toast it to mimic French bread. Let me see here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shrimp, really? Come on. Nine shrimp and four French, four onion rings. Mimicked French bread. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed before I even started. Actually. Considering. Not bad. Let me try this with uh,
you, shrimp's got a good flavor, but there's not a lot of them. Back home in New Orleans, you'd have shrimp falling up. There's a place in Galveston that's like that too. Which I'll take a ride down there one day and review them. And it's cheaper. Only thing is, you gotta pay for parking. Rum and white sauce ain't bad though. Onion rings have a real good flavor. Iced tea with lemon. And um, three sweet and lows. And they were nice enough to turn the music off for me so I could do my review. So that was cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. How's everything tasting for you so far? So far, so good. Good. And the bread, I mean, this is close to original French bread, but not quite. They toast it to give it that flakiness. As to real French bread, it's a little narrower, but it's just it's the way it's made. You can you can hear it crack. That boudin balls have a good flavor. It's just... Boudin's a dirty rice. Made into a sausage. Or they'll ball it up, bread it, and fry it. This is like... It's like they mush everything together and then... Right, but it got a good flavor. It's like most of the times you break open a boudin ball, you can see the 
Because boudin's made with, uh, with liver mm. and rice and seasonings. Mm. Most of the time, when you break open a boudin ball, you can see the meat, you can see the rice and whatnot. This is more or less like they pureed the whole thing, made it in a ball, fried it. Slightly different, but very good taste. And the whole meal was like 25 bucks. So far, I'm thinking it was overpriced. People are friendly, but you know what? That's your job. I'm paying for the food and the service. The service was good so far. Bird nest is working overtime today. I don't know why seafood's here so high, like the shrimp. The street that this exits off of is only like 75 miles from the Gulf. It's not far. It's not like you're flying it or trucking it to North Dakota, you know what I'm saying? This one with the ramelade sauce. All right, so let's see what this Cajun burrito is all about. <clears throat> I ordered mine with grilled, I ordered it with grilled uh, catfish. And supposedly it's got red beans and rice and pico de gallo on it. The guy was telling me, we're going to find out. It's a nice size. It's got a little weight to it.
This is like Kunas meets south of the border. It definitely has red beans in it. It's a piece of fish by itself. It's not bad. The grilled catfish in it isn't bad. I never would have thought of making a burrito with red beans and rice and catfish. Very interesting. I guess when in Texas, huh? I mean, it's hard to tell with the red beans and rice. I mean, it's hard to really taste the catfish with all the, everything else in it. There's definitely in there. But red beans and rice has a very distinct flavor. <clears throat> but that bite I didn't get in the red beans and rice, so I could taste the I could taste the catfish, but last couple of bites it looked like it's gonna get messy here looks like we're having a blowout at the back here Last cup of ice tea. Four. One okay. sweet. Gotcha. Three. Three uh, sweet lows and one lemon. Thank you. I'm gonna get your French That's fine. No Are need. Sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Yeah, That's fine. <laughs> 
Okay, there's last couple bites we're about to eat. So we had a blowout with this burrito. Usually with any big old burrito, when you get toward the end, you usually get a blowout. Piece of sausage from the red beans and rice. Sausage, good flavor. Thank you. taken out back and get hosed down after this. I was about to tell my viewers. Okay. And uh, I think it's. Flavor wise, it's good. Okay. We'll let you tell your viewers. Are you going to post this on YouTube or anything so we can see it? Awesome. If y'all got a Facebook channel or Facebook page, I'll send it to y'all Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so y'all know what time it is. It's, it's rating time. The service was excellent. I'm going to give them five on the service. Five flip flops on the service. The taste. I'm going to give them a four. Now, here's where we're going to get a little crazy. The amount of shrimp that's on that sandwich isn't worth it. I mean, I understand I'm not in New Orleans anymore and the prices of seafood is high here. I don't understand why they're high. We're only 60, 65, 70 miles from the Gulf. You know, because that's like Baton Rouge from New Orleans. You know, I mean, Baton Rouge from from Baton Rouge to New Orleans is 86 miles. 
and seafood in Baton Rouge is no higher than seafood in New Orleans. So I don't know why seafood here in Houston is more expensive. But that po' boy sandwich, I could almost forgive the, the bread not being real French bread. I mean, the bread was good. I mean, it was toasted. Whatever brand or whatever style bread it was, they toast it to mimic French bread. So don't, if you're expecting true French bread, you're not going to get it. But I mean, this is very close. Very, very close. But the amount of shrimp that is on that sandwich, I could go to Galveston to this other joint and I had to take 25 or 30 shrimp off of my sandwich just to close it. Here I got, I counted 10 shrimp. To me that's, that's not right. The boudin balls, excellent flavor, excellent flavor. It's just the innards of the boudin ball looked slightly different. It, um, it like you couldn't tell the meat from the rice or whatever. It's almost like it was all blended together, pureed, and made into balls. But I mean, it had that f the flavor was there, so it just looked different. So texture-wise, slightly different. Boudin balls. I'm going to give you a 3.5. 3.5. Now that sandwich, going back to that sandwich. Would you like lemon? No, thank you. The sandwich, as far as taste goes, it tasted like a po' boy. The shrimp were fresh. So, I can't complain about the taste. The taste was good. But, just the amount you get for the price, I don't think that's worth it. So, I'm going to have to give you a two on that po' boy. Now, that concoction Cajun meats Tex-Mex that was an interesting combination uh, flavor wise uh, it was kind of hard to, to taste everything that was in there just because it's it, it's a burrito everything's shoved in there and cooked but I mean I took a piece of the I took a piece of the fish out by itself the fish was fine so if you want to come and get their grilled fish excellent that red beans and rice tasted fine I mean I, the little portion that was inside of there had a good flavor the beans were nice and soft so but to stick it all in a burrito eh, I don't know I'm gonna give you a 3.5 on that so with that being said my overall experience here I'm just gonna put it middle of the road three Three, uh, three flip-flops because I mean you had some high points you had some low points but you know uh, high points low points uh, so we're gonna put you in the middle of the road I will uh, come back and try some of their other food and review it later on down the line uh, they got etouffee gumbo and uh, stuff like that which I love I'd like to put them through their paces but as far as as far as po' boys go no but if you're gonna get some grilled fish, because like I said, I had a piece of grilled fish in that in that burrito, that grilled fish, Flavor Town, pow, packed full of flavor. So, with that being said, overall experiences uh, is a three. I'm gonna have to put it in the middle of the road. I will come back, I will try them again, and I will try something different, you know, just to, you know, see how their New Orleanian gumbo and all of that other stuff is. But it is what it is. So down there is a subscription button. Click the subscription button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell. You'll get notified when I have new content. Also, open that description box. There's links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as as well as a link to this channel's homepage where you can find my older videos. And with that being said, thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit me with one. It doesn't matter which one you hit me with, but... um. Hit me with one, let me know you're watching. You. As always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends. And I'll see you next time in another restaurant. But until next time, be thinking of a name. Put a name down in that uh, 
comment box down below. And if you name my this series, I will send you a Big Red Food Army t-shirt free of charge. This is the last video in which I'm running that contest. So this video will be up for a week. I'll think it over. And uh, then we will announce the winner. So with that being said, thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see y'all next time. Bon appetit.